Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are well and staying safe. Today we're just going to do a quick hair tutorial. Uh, people have always asked me how I maintain my hair. I'll be sharing with you guys today um, products that I use to shampoo and condition my hair and also products that I use when I'm styling my hair as well. I've just let my hair air dry a little bit um, and I just thought I might as well just show you a quick hair tutorial on how I do my hair. Um, so yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so to start off with, um, my hair is about 50% dry. I've left, just let it naturally air dry and as you can see that it's quite frizzy my hair. Okay so to shampoo and condition my hair I use, um, use the Living Proof uh, Perfect Hair Day Shampoo. It just because I use so much product in my hair that you get the product build up but this just helps to clean my hair for me and it just keeps my hair fresher for longer. And then I should use the conditioner, but I don't. I don't know why I don't, but I like this conditioner. This is the L'Oreal LV conditioner. And then once a week, purple shampoo, or it's the blue pigment shampoo. Now this was recommended to me by my hairdresser. Hey Annie. Um, so she recommended this to me. Um, and I purchased this from Amazon and ever since I bought this it's been the, the saviour and I make sure I properly saturate it in my hair I use a very generous amount let it, let it sit into my hair for about 10 to 15 minutes whilst I'm in the shower um, or sometimes I'll just wet my hair and then I just apply it on wet hair and then I'll just put a wrap a plastic bag around my hair and I'll just let it sit in my hair until it gets dry um, and that's when it just properly works uh, but before we do that and before we start using any tools I start off with using a heat protectant and the one I use is the uh, is the Philip Kingsley Daily Damage Defense it's my holy grail it is literally the best thing it smells so nice when you've recently styled your hair and your hair just smells like perfume my hair smells like perfume with this I don't know why um, but I love Philip Kingsley they are like I think they are specialists in hair, they're called trichologists I think. Um, so yeah, they're specialists in hair and so they know what they're talking about. I start off with using that, I just saturate all that into my hair. Now rule number one is use heat protectant. Always, always, always use heat protectant whenever you're styling your hair. Okay, so we've got shampoo and conditioning out of the way. Now to style, um, so obviously I've already saturated my hair with a heat defense. So the next thing I use just to prepare my hair, I use the Moroccan Hydrating Styling Cream. I use that, just gonna use a little bit of that. So just that much. And then just a little bit of the Moroccan oil. And when I mean a little bit, I mean the tiniest amount. So the other thing I use is the Revlon One Step Dryer and Volumizer. I use this and this is probably the only thing I use at the moment. I used to use my hair straighteners. So I'd go in with a normal hair dryer and then go in with hair straighteners. But ever since I purchased this, I don't need to go in with my straighteners. It just gives me that volume and it gives me that shine. It straightens my hair for me as well. Basically a hair dryer and a brush in one. It just literally straightens it. I'm a bit late to the game. I'm sure people have already purchased this and it's really, really popular. Um, again, it's not sponsored. I purchased this with my own money. I bought this from Argos. Um, I think it's still, you can still buy it from Argos. I'll link it in the description box below. Um, I think it retails at 59.99, I think. Um, super affordable and yeah, it's, it's just, it just cuts down your drying styling time by half. Cause if you're anything like me, you probably, your hair probably retains a lot of moisture and drying your hair probably takes 20 minutes and then straightening your hair takes another 20 minutes so that's 40 minutes just styling your hair um, this just cuts it down completely it just really helps to speed up the process so I usually bump it up to the highest setting because my hair is really frizzy Now the top section I mix it up a little bit so what I'll do is I'll just go in with this with this and I'll just do the same thing that I'm doing again just making sure it's starting from the root and working towards the end and I just really like focus on the root and then when I let go of that section I'll go in with a 
uh, a velcro roller what I'll do from the roots I'll take a section I'll blow dry it um, and then I'll go in with a velcro roller um, and then I'll just feed that into my hair and then I'll just set it with a, a pin and I'll just leave that and I'll work, work my way from back to front um, so I just only put three rollers in so I'll start off with the biggest one at the back um, and then I'll go in with a medium sized one and then a small one as well um, so yeah so the big one is where I start from the back and then I'll show you in a second and then you'll see um, the second one the second section that I take here and then for the front fringe or bangs whatever you want to call them I use uh, this one as well so that really gives that curl off doing the velcro rollers now and um, so I'll take a section in the back work it in and then I'll just fit it in with the rollers as well so you'll see Again, you do the same thing as well just making sure with the final piece because I've got small wispy parts here as well so I'm gonna just cut I'm just gonna dry it from inwards and then I'm gonna go out just to make sure that I get all these wispy bits as well so I'm get from doing it like this sure just make sure you use your hands as a guideline just to make sure that the hair is in and then just just wrap the hair in and then just pull it back like that and then just get the pin again and then just pin it in between the middle uh, velcro roller and this one so just pin it in you don't need many people think that they just need many but you don't need and because my belt my clips have teeth in it just grips onto it straight away so yeah so last but not least so that's what I do and I just quickly set that while it's still warm just make sure that the hair is neatly wrapped in there and again it's going to give you a facelift which is a bonus and then I'm just going to get the um, the pin and I'm just going to securely pin it into my hair it's harder to do when you are so I'm just going to pin that into my hair so can you see so don't worry too much about it being untidy or anything this is just for styling in so I'm just gonna add another pin so it's just out my face and then I'm just gonna go in with a hairspray and I'm just gonna let that and now I look really silly right now and it's for your hair to cool down so I just let it sit in while I do my makeup so obviously I'll do my hair first and then I'll do my makeup um, so yeah so I just let this sit in like this I do it for about 20 minutes um, don't worry too much about it being neat or anything just make sure 
as soon as you've styled your hair that you've um, got the velcro roller and wrapped the velcro roller into your hair and secured it with a pin if you don't have these um, clips that I've just shown you you can always use a bobby pin so you can always use them and just pin that in as well that'll just be fine as well uh, just make sure they're big bobby pins because you'll be there forever if you use the small ones so I'm just taking out the last I've just taken out the last roots I'm just taking them out and I'm just taking this hair out as well so you can see like it's instantly giving me volume so I've just taken out the roots I forgot to film guys I can't believe it just started taking them out and then I didn't realize I was filming sorry guys but yeah I've just taken out the roots and I've not touched it at the moment I've just left it like that and um, so now I'm just gonna just style my hair I'm just gonna start and probably do a center parting or I might style it to the side but sometimes depending on how I feel I'll style it to the front so you can see and then I'll just start positioning my hair just how it is and I'll just play around with my hair just to see how it looks um, I might do it in the middle and see how it looks And then just have a little play around with the hair and just um, and just and you can just see it instantly just adds so much volume to my hair um, I'm only playing with a small mirror so I'm having to look and adjust it as well I'm going along but yeah so so you can see like it instantly just adds so much more volume to my hair and it just especially the small uh, velcros as well that just is what gives that curl and that you get at the front so you can see that curl it just gives you with this velcro roller because the smaller it is the more curled out it is my hair just usually stays like this for a long time um, because it's quite because I left I've used a lot of products in my hair to style it anyway so it usually stays like this um, it dries. so if you don't have this as a tool you can always use your hair straightener and um, so if you just normally dry your hair and then with sections just take the straightener and just straighten your hair and just curl it inwards or just curl it outwards however you want to style your hair curl it inwards and making sure when you've got that strand just get your velcro roller and just wrap it into the hair as quickly as possible and just set it and pin it in um, that will just instantly and whilst your hair is trying to cool down it just sets in that curl um, so just make sure you are um, when you're styling your hair whether it's with a straightener or a hair dryer just set it into the velcro curler as soon as possible so it starts cooling down before it starts cooling down because once it starts cooling down the hair is set and it's not going to move um, so you want to just make sure you optimize it when it's nice and hot um, so you can manipulate the curl or manipulate the style of your hair um, so yeah, so this is my day. Well, this is my everyday hair routine that I use. It's quick and easy. Obviously, it looks as though it takes a lot, a long time, but it really doesn't. When I'm doing other things, uh, I can't stop messing with my hair. I need to stop. It just makes it look really glamorous. Um, it just adds a bit of volume, a bit put together. Um, and yeah, so I usually use do this. This is a, this can be also a nice hairstyle to use when it's for Eid is coming up, or uh, any occasion, any part of your occasion. You can use this, um, and you. Can use this method um, now I purchased these velcro rollers like ages ago I don't know, I mean ages ago so I'll try finding something similar to this no doubt you probably find something like this on Amazon um, but yeah I've had these for a very long time so I can't really tell you where exactly I bought them from um, I'm guessing it's from Amazon or from a salon store um, I'm guessing it's from Amazon or but you can get velcro rollers I think you can still get velcro oh, but you can get velcro rollers I think you can still get velcro rollers I mean it's quite old these um, oh, but it's a method that I've used um, and it just works for my hair um, so yes so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was something uh, quick and easy for me to show you um, I've shared some of my tips and tricks as well I've shared with you products that I've used um, it's been long requested from my family and friends um, asking me how I use what products that I use to maintain my hair um, everyone knows if you watch my previous video get to know me you'll know how much of a pride and joy my hair is alhamdulillah it's really um, my pride and joy um, so yeah so I thought this guy I hope this video 
video was useful for you guys um, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did like it, please remember to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification for any new videos that I'll be uploading. Um, check out my previous videos that I have on my YouTube channel. Um, I've done a, recently done a get to know me video as well so please be sure to check that out. Um, it was quite fun to do actually and I'll be doing some more videos as well so yeah stay tuned for that. Until next time I'll see you in my next videos guys. Take care for now. Bye! Thank you.